purposes. Great, thank you. And then, uh, Mr. Barron, I want to just follow up with the, you know, the National Environmental Policy Act, NEPA. Mm -hmm. uh, th that requires agencies to prepare an environmental impact statement. They have to do it for every major federal action. Well, at, at the NRC, uh, major federal actions can include the issuance of licenses, license amendments. Uh, NEPA requires an agency to provide notice and to take public comments as it prepares an environmental impact statement. But, but in contrast to many federal agencies, the NRC has voluntarily decided to take steps beyond those required uh, by NEPA. Uh, specifically, the NRC allows parties to challenge the NRC's environmental impact statement as its evidentiary hearing on uh, security and safety measures. So recently what we've seen are anti-nuclear activists. They've argued that if new information is presented at the hearing, uh, then the NRC can't supplement its environmental impact statement. Instead, uh, these activists are arguing that the NRC has to go back and rewrite the entire environmental impact statement before issuing a license or, or license amendment. So, so if the NRC has already issued a license, these activities, uh, these activists argue, argue that the NRC has to then vacate and suspend a license that's already been, been issued. This is a bipartisan majority of the NRC commissioners uh, has repeatedly rejected this argument by the extremists. But, but you're the only commissioner who agrees with the act, these anti-nuclear activists, the only one. So the issue is now before a federal appeals court. So if these activists succeed, it's going to add significant delays, I think, to any NRC licensing processes, this is going to make nuclear energy much more expensive to produce, and in some ways could potentially jeopardize safety. So is it still your position, I know how you voted, but is it still your position that if new information is presented at NRC's evidentiary hearings, that the staff must rewrite the environmental impact statement before the NRC issues a license or license amendment, and if the NRC has already issued a license, a license or license amendment, they must then vacate or suspend the license uh, or the license amendment. Well, my concern is a little bit more specific than that. In, in the cases I think you're, you're citing, the issue there was that the NRC staff, as you mentioned, made a licensing decision on the basis of an environmental review that our administrative law judges, the agency's administrative law judges, later, later found to be inadequate. So that's the, the key factor there. My concern is that at the point we make a decision, when the agency issues a license, at that point we should do so on the basis of an adequate uh, NEPA review. In my view, in the cases you uh, mentioned, that did not happen. And as you mentioned, this question uh, is now pending before the D.C. Circuit uh, Court of Appeals, which will hold arguments on it next week. Thank you. Senator Carper. Uh, 